As we journey through Lent, we here at West Highlands United Methodist Church are looking to some words that Jesus shared amidst a larger body of teaching about some basic do's and don'ts in our walk with Christ. It's the Lord's Prayer. We know from other gospel accounts that Jesus wove prayer into the very fabric of his existence. It was in prayer that he often would process the events of one day and prepare for events of the next. It was in the context of prayer that he healed and taught. Prayer was his lifeline to the God he followed, to the Son, the Father, the Son he was. But when he was asked by his innermost circle, how do we pray? How do we cultivate this lifeline relationship? He said to them, when you pray, pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Jesus said, that's how you pray. And the early church was convinced that in praying those words, we begin to understand what prayer is. And we begin to weave it into the fabric of our lives. A document called the Didache, which was a small book of basic Christian teachings that goes back into the first century, shortly after Jesus' death, asked the earliest followers to repeat this prayer three times every day. There are many things that it asks young believers to do, but repeat this prayer three times every day if you want to learn the purpose of prayer and how to weave that lifeline communication into your heart and into the fabric of your life. So let's let these words frame our day today and our journey these next 40 days. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever for all time and beyond. This is Ben Moore from West Highlands United Methodist Church. With a thought for your day, just another way of reaching out. Thank you.